Hey guys, I'm Vlad with the Verge here at Mobile World Congress 2016 in Barcelona and this is the Xiaomi Mi 5. This is probably one of the latest Android flagship devices to be introduced here at the show, but it might have been worth the wait because it has all the specs just like all the other flagships, Android M, Snapdragon 820 processor from Qualcomm. The Pro version even has 4GB of RAM and 128GB of storage built in. But the one we're looking at right now, this is the non-Pro. It has 3GB of RAM. Uh, but keeps pretty much all, all the rest of the specs. And the really impressive thing about this the Xiaomi Mi 5 is the price. So this device launching March 1st, it will actually be one of the first Snapdragon 820 devices that you can actually buy. It'll be available in China for a price of somewhere around $260. And the Pro version with a ceramic, 3D ceramic back uh, will cost something like $350, $360. So as usual for Xiaomi, it packs in all the specs, but keeps the price really low. Also, Xiaomi has spent a long time designing this device. They say it took them two years to make it happen. And it has a very efficient design on the front. It has almost no bezels on the left and right sides, uh, a minimal footprint. Uh, it has a 5.15 inch display because Xiaomi also uses new power efficient LED lights. It has a Sony IMX298 camera sensor inside, 60 megapixels is one of the first to feature it. And the camera works really quickly, we can't speak to the quality of it just yet, but it can do all the usual things, record 4K video and all of that fun stuff. Also for Xiaomi, a new thing, this is the first device to have a home button, which also integrates a fingerprint sensor over on the front. So as a first impression with this device, I'm kind of loving it. It's really compact, it's really comfortable in the hand. Xiaomi has gone to town with the whole 3D back design. The regular model has glass. It's available in black, white, and gold. It has a dual tone flash to go with a 60 megapixel camera, which Xiaomi also makes a big deal out of the fact that it sits perfectly flush with the device, so there's no camera bump here. Xiaomi didn't mention this, but yes, it does have USB-C, like most of the latest flagships. It has a little speaker down here at the bottom as well. And it features the latest version of MIUI, version 7, which is built on top of Android Marshmallow. It stands up right there with the Galaxy S7 and the LG G5 in terms of specs and seemingly performance. It, it seems to be really smooth, really fast. So this is Xiaomi's big debut here at Mobile World Congress 2016. It says it will be available first in China, as I say, for a very attractive price, then India and other markets, says the company. But MWC is a global show, so we might see this device in some markets that it hasn't been in before. So stay tuned to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash The Verge, for more.